Welcome to the Soul Seeker Podcast. I'm your host, Sam Kabert, and this year marks the fifth birthday of the Soul Seeker Podcast. I started this pod back in 2019 when I was taking my first steps on the path of remembering. And at the time, the tagline for the show was a journey of self discovery. A year later, it became a journey of remembering. Yet, what I know now is back then I was still seeking. And what I've come to know now is that it's the journey of seeking that brings us the silent, slow stillness of acceptance. And therein lies our own innate wisdom. It's my mission now to eradicate the glorification of hustle culture, as it was my drive in entrepreneurship that led to a greater whole. And that's because I was outsourcing my sovereignty rather than looking within. So let this be your invitation to take a deep breath in and remember that at any time we can shift our thoughts and our feelings to create the outer world in which we wish to live. Soul Seekers, it's time to grow. Let's go. Hey there, and welcome back to the Soul Seeker Podcast. My name is Sam Kabert, and this is episode number four of a special six-part series all around the concept and framework of the six-step breath process in my book, Overcome the Overwhelm. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, that's okay. That's all good. But what I want to tell you is if you listen to this episode and you don't know what I'm talking about and you didn't listen to the previous episodes before this, then... It's not going to make so much sense because in my book, Overcome the Overwhelm, I'm sharing six steps for inner peace. And you've just stumbled on step number four. Now, listening to these out of order isn't going to make sense. So if you're fascinated and you want to listen to these steps, go back to step number one, which is linked in the show notes with this episode. And then you can listen from step one all the way through step number six. And with that being said, if you're new to the show and you haven't subscribed or left a rating and review, I just invite you to consider leaving a rating and review as it helps the show grow. And the show's mission is to raise the collective consciousness of humanity from this fallen state. So if you're down with that mission, you want help to raise the collective consciousness, an easy and totally free way to support the show is by simply just leaving a rating and review. And with that, here is step number four with Alicia K to help unpack the six step breath process. Welcome back to Overcoming Overwhelm, sponsored by Promo Corner. I am your host, Sam Caber, and with me is Alicia K. Alicia K has been with us for all of the first three episodes. If you are new to this show, please go back to episode one because if you just dive into this episode, it's not going to make sense. This is a unpacking the six step breath process, which is a framework that I'm using from my new book called Overcome the Overwhelm. If you want to find out more about the book, learn more about me, you can go to samkaber.com. I have all the information about the new book, Overcome the Overwhelm with the six step breath process. And please, if you haven't listened to the other three episodes, just go back and listen to those first, then join us here. And now that we got that out of the way, let's just revisit some of the things that we've already touched on because we're about halfway through in these steps. We've done the first three. The first step is noticing, oh, I'm feeling something. It's a trigger, right? Like I'm feeling an emotion that I may not want to feel. So step one in the acronym breath is breathe to slow down. Remember that our body has a 90 second physiological response when we experience an emotion so allow yourself to breathe, to slow down, to be with this emotion. Secondly, the second step is relax to feel. Because this is when we start to get all fidgety and be like, I don't know what I'm doing here. And maybe I do want those pistachios or whatever the thing is to dissociate, numb yourself, relax. And it's so easy to relax into this, practicing the cyclic sigh. As a reminder, inhaling all the way up through the nose, sipping a bit more at the top, holding for a couple seconds, then through the mouth, exhale. The third step, what we got into in the last episode was energy to reveal. Energy to reveal, the E in breath. So that is getting curious. 
what is this energy within me and that's moving through me? What is it here to show me a lesson on? Because it, maybe it's something that's recurring and keeps coming up for you until you process that. It's just going to keep coming up for you and you'll continue to get stuck. In the last episode, Alicia shared some really awesome things that I mentioned we unpack in this one. And in this fourth step, it's the A in the breath acronym. And that is accept to surrender. Because in the last step, energy to reveal, we can still be a little bit fidgety, right? And be like, ah, I don't know if this is working. Like, you know, there's, I'm supposed to get a lesson here. I'm supposed to get curious. There's supposed to be a reason why I'm experiencing this emotion. And this is where we need to accept where we're at and to surrender. Now, this is starting to get into some, you know, terminology where you might be like, oh, I don't know about that. And I totally understand that if that's arising with you, because that's where I was about at five years ago when I first started to do this sort of work. But at the end of the day, if we don't accept these energies that are within us, they're just going to continue to come back. So a framework that I really like is called internal family systems. It's also known as IFS or parts work. I tend to call it parts work. And Alicia is actually certified in this psychotherapy modality. So that's where I'm going to hand it off to you, Alicia, to unpack it a little bit more. Yeah, thanks, Sam. Great introduction. I love parts work because the whole foundation is really teaching every single human being, that whatever you're going through and whatever is happening inside of you is completely normal, right? We live in a world where we're constantly forced to judge ourselves, to evaluate ourselves, to change ourselves, to fit in, to be accepted, to be loved, and really to adapt to whatever circumstance that we're facing. And the way that we adapt in our psyche is to develop parts of ourselves to cope with what's going on around us. And so a super simplified version really is to know that inside of us, we have parts of us that actually we, we feel comfortable showing to the world, right? Like the part of me that goes to work, that isn't necessarily the part of me like that's at home and that is eating the chocolate, right? Like I want to fit in. And so we adapt to the world by what we choose to show people and how we perform in the world, right? But then there's these other parts of us that we are not that comfortable showing to the world that we essentially want to hide. And those are usually the emotional parts of us, the ones that we like don't want to talk about or we don't want everybody to know about. They happen in our home, right? So we have these parts that face front and we have these parts that face back. And the way that they, we interact with those parts are actually really important because and going to the other episode, we're actually curious about what's coming up in us. Then we can make an educated decision with how we want to show up, how we want to um, like react, how we want to respond. But knowing that underneath these two facing front and facing back parts is the actually the wounded inner child parts of us that are carrying some really big, deep, deep, strong emotion that not many of us are even aware is there. And a lot of times we talked, or actually we talked about it in the other episode, that our emotional responses usually come from old unprocessed stuff. And it usually is that part of us that is, is buried deep. So when you actually allow yourself to get curious, to sit down, to understand what's coming up in me emotionally, then we can develop the framework for uh, working with these parts of us that we either want to like keep because they're serving us or we want to learn how to integrate into us so that we don't feel that we are playing a role or that we're hiding, which doesn't feel good to the psyche or to the soul. Amazing. Thank you for unpacking that and giving us a masterclass on parts work in just a few <laughs> minutes. Um, this is a big topic, guys. Uh, th the way to simplify it is thinking about like the movie Inside Out. And uh, many people have seen this Pixar film. I think there's a new one that is coming or uh, came out recently. But if you're not familiar with it or you don't really quite remember it so much, it's basically about a, a girl who's maybe, I don't know, I'm just going to use the number 10, you know, 10 to 12 or something, maybe eight to 12. And they show the different parts of her emotional selves, like inside of her anger, sadness, uh, joy. I forget all the one. We know these basic emotions, right? Uh, essentially. 
And they're showing how like these uh, different emotions are interacting within her own psyche and then how that's affecting the way she moves through the world. And I don't like to get into like religious or spiritual dogma or anything like that. I just think of it as like inner world and outer world. The outer world is how we move through the world with our five senses, where our inner world is like our phys- our mental and emotional state, right? It's like, how are we feeling, right? And this parts work can really help us get into that inner world so that we can show up better on the outer world. And how this relates to the fourth step is it helps us to surrender because at the end of the day, what helps me so much with parts work is allowing myself to be with that part that Alicia was telling us about. And when I allow that part, I surrender to whatever it has to say, it starts to soften. Because really, that part just wanted to be heard. It wanted to be witnessed. It wanted to be seen. And when we deny it or we start to get into like a rebuttal, but and we say like, yeah, but but," or whatever, like we would with a, a friend or a lover or whatever, then it just creates more turmoil. Whereas if we can just accept and surrender to it and hear what that part starts to say, it starts to soften. And from there, that's going to dovetail us into the next step, which we'll get into the next episode. But as always, with each and every one of these episodes, we want to give you a call to action and something that you can use to help moving forward. Of course, you can go to my website, samcabert.com and find overcome the overwhelm and learn all about this in so much more depth. But for now, like a simple, simple call to action is just a couple questions you can reflect with to get to know your parts. And with that, Alicia, are there a couple questions you you like to give people that are starting out with this? Yeah, I think you already went over like identifying what the emotion is, right? And then it's along with that emotion, what is the thought that I'm having? And what is the feeling and the sense that's coming into the body. And when I am thinking and feeling and responding this way, how old do I feel right now? Right? Like there's a there's a different ego state that we switch into when we're triggered. And it's like, oh, yeah, I don't feel like my full, complete adult self. I feel a little bit younger usually. And so it is like, what what age do I feel? And what, when is the last time that I had this reaction? And when is the first time that I remember feeling this way? Because usually it's all related to old stuff, right? Like I had something coming up last week where like a friend was contacting me constantly and it triggered like my old mother wound. And I knew that it was triggering something in me. But I was like, well, what does this remind me of? Oh, it reminds me of when my mom used to call me and used to freak out when I didn't answer my fo- the phone. And so I wanted to react in a way that was lashing out and angry toward my friend. But because I've done so much work on myself, I know that that's not how I want to respond anymore. So then you get clear by using the breath and saying, what is coming up in me? What does this remind me of? And how do I want to choose to respond? Boom. You heard it there. That is awesome. Thank you. Thank you, Alicia. What are those final three things again, just to emphasize them? Yeah. What is coming coming up in me? Where have I felt this before? Or what does it remind me of? And how do I want to choose to respond? Boom. Awesome. Thank you, Alicia, for that. So guys, this is step four, accept to surrender. The first four steps in the six step breath process is heavy. It's dense. And of course it is because Like Alicia said in earlier episodes, you have to feel it to heal it, right? So we don't want to feel, but this whole thing is all about feeling. So yes, this is in a lot of ways, if you're familiar familiar with Carl Jung's work, it's called shadow work. And what shadow work means is to make the unconscious or subconscious conscious, to look at the parts of ourselves that we don't want to look look at. It's uncomfortable by design. At the same time, this whole process only has to take a couple minutes. And in the next step, we're going to get into some positive stuff that's going to leave us feeling good. And the final two steps are really more uplifting. So if you have been feeling at all like, wow, this is like some heavy stuff, like know that you're not wrong. You're actually completely right. 
And that is the point of why we're doing it, because it's about feeling, which can be heavy at times. So with that, thank you so much for checking out episode four. You can find more information about me and my book at samkabert.com. The book is called Overcome the Overwhelm. And if you're interested in connecting with Alicia, go to her website, aliciakcoaching.com. That's K-K-A-Y, aliciakcoaching.com. Thank you guys so much for being here and we'll see you in step five. Thank you so much for listening to this episode to the very end. I hope you enjoyed this episode. And I want to give a special shout out to my co-host, Alicia K for jumping on to share her wisdom and to Lori Moore and the whole Promo Corner team for originally hosting the Six Step Breath process on their platform, which has now been repurposed onto the Soul Seeker podcast. So with that being said, thank you so much for checking this out. If you want to go deeper with steps, you can check out the description of where you're listening to this podcast or watching it on YouTube and going to the link to get your your copy of Overcome the Overwhelm for an affordable price. And if you haven't already subscribed or left a rating and review for the Soul Seeker podcast, please consider doing so. And with that, I'll see you in the next episode.